You want to hit the ground running with some cool animations and After Effects? In this quick video, we're going to explore five simple yet powerful animations to get you going in the world of motion graphics. Be sure to simply hit that like button, and let's get started. We're going to be creating a full title graphic by using each of these five simple animations step by step. Download this project file for free and follow along with me with this design. The first part of the title we're going to animate is the box that goes at the very top. We'll start by selecting the rectangle tool. Make sure fill is set to solid color, stroke is set to none, then click and drag to create this nice long and thin rectangle. You'll see the anchor point is at the center of the composition and what we want is for it to be at the bottom of the rectangle. So right click the rectangle, select transform, and then anchor point. Adjust the Y value of the anchor point until it's perfectly at the bottom of our rectangle like this. Now when we animate its scale, it's going to animate up from this point. Now press S for scale. Uncheck Constrain Proportions, set a keyframe for scale at the start of the timeline, set the Y value of the scale to 0%, move forward a bit on the timeline, and then set scale back to 100%. Now you can see the box animating up from the anchor point we set earlier like this. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, open up the graph editor tool, and pull the right side of the curve all the way inward like this to smooth out the animation. And now we have this nice and smooth box animation to start off our title. Next, we're going to use mats to animate some of the text appearing inside of the box that we just made. So here we have some text typed up and put inside of our box, but you can see if I move it outside of the box, we can still see it. We want it to only be visible when it's inside of the box. First, we'll animate our text. We could just set keyframes for position, but when we're animating text, you can use the animate tool right here and it gives you more control over how it's animated. So click animate, position, set the Y value of the position to 50 so that it starts outside of the box, then open the range selector, set a keyframe for start at the beginning of the timeline, move forward a bit, then set start to 100%. You can see now that each letter animates in individually instead of the whole line if we just did a regular position animation. If we want to change this, we can open Advanced, then you can change based on from letters to words. Now you can see each word animates in one after another. Then you can set it from words to lines, now the whole line of text animates in at once. Highlight the keyframes, make them easy ease, and smooth out the animation with the graph editor tool just like we did with the last title. Then, if you want, we can offset the keyframes by just a few frames to add some dynamics to the animation. Lastly, to mat the title to our box layer, highlight the text, go to Effect, Channel, Set Matte, then set the Take Matte from Layer to our top box layer. Now you can see our text smoothly animates into our box layer and it can only be seen when it's inside of it. Before we continue, you probably know that making motion graphics can sometimes be difficult and time consuming. So to fix that problem, we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce awesome work under one single subscription price. You can easily preview templates from any of our packs just like our motion graphics advanced pack here and just click apply. Then you can easily modify the parameters of the template and you're done. So if you're looking to get some assistance in advancing your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Next, we're going to use more mats to do a reveal animation on the next set of text. For our first title, we'll open it up, choose Animate, Position, we'll set the Y position to negative 150, open the range selector, set a keyframe for start at the beginning of the timeline, move forward a bit, then set start to 100%. Open Advanced, set Based On to Lines, highlight the keyframes, make them easy ease, and smooth out the keyframes with the graph editor tool. Highlight Animator 1, press Ctrl C to copy it, then highlight the other text layers and paste the animation in at the start of the timeline with Ctrl V. Next, we'll create our mask layers. Select the Rectangle tool, make sure Fill is still solid and Stroke is still none. Move on the timeline so that we can see all of the titles at the end of their animation, then click and drag to create a big rectangle and position it above the first title like this. We'll rename this layer to Mask 1, Position it above the text that we want to mask on the layer list, then select Alpha Inverted Mat on the Track Mat dropdown. Highlight Mask 1, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, put it above the next set of text on the layer list, position it above the text on the composition, and then set the text to Alpha Inverted Mat of Mask 2. Duplicate the mask one more time, 
put it above the next set of text on the layer list, reposition it above it on the composition, and set the text to alpha inverted matte for the third mask. Lastly, offset each text layer on the timeline by a few frames so that they can cascade in with their animations, and now you have this nice offset reveal animation for the main set of text. Next, we'll animate this small text bubble at the bottom of our title. Here, we have this bit of text on top of our text bubble, and what we want is for it to animate in from this little point right here on the bubble. So what we'll do is select the Pan Behind tool, then click and drag the anchor point of the text bubble so that it's right on the little point like this. Next, take the text layer and use the Pick Whip tool to parent it to the text bubble. Now when we animate the bubble, the text is going to move with it. Highlight the bubble, press S for scale, set a keyframe at the start of the timeline, press R for rotation, set another keyframe, then set rotation to around negative 45 degrees, and then set scale to 0%. Move forward a bit on the timeline, set scale to 100%, the rotation back to 0, highlight all of the keyframes, make them easy ease, and smooth them out using the graph editor tool once again. Lastly, offset the bubble and text on the timeline so that they come in after the main set of text, and now we have this nice little animation added onto the bottom of our title animation. Lastly, we're going to quickly make a few plus symbols to throw onto our title for some added detail. Start by selecting the pen tool, set fill to none, stroke to solid color, we'll set the stroke width to 3 pixels, then hold shift and click twice to make a short line like this, open up the shape layer, contents, Duplicate Shape 1, Highlight Shape 2, use the Pan Behind tool to move the anchor point to the center of the line like this, then open Transform, and rotate the line 90 degrees to make the plus symbol. Now highlight the whole plus symbol, Control double click the Pan Behind tool to center the main anchor point, then we'll position the plus at the top right of the top box like this. Press S for scale, set a keyframe for scale at the start of the timeline, set the scale to 0%, move forward a little bit, set scale to 100%, then make the keyframes easy ease and smooth them out on the graph editor. Duplicate the plus layer, move the second plus to the top left of the top box like this, and now you're done. Using multiple different animation techniques, we've put together this cool dynamic title animation. Speaking of simple animations, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro packs. Those links are available in the description down below, and remember, Always be creating.